if your katana and the scabbard are not in line with each other, it makes a lot of sound. See? Oh. Just a yeah, little bit of power really, is enough. Really, really clear sound. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your left hand gives the power to your katana, your right hand controls the direction. And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. It's me, Shogo, and I have Kazu. Hello. And also Tomoko. Hello. On the other side of the camera, Harumi. Yay, hello. All right. So everyone, I receive a lot of messages, comments, and DMs every single day. <laughs> everyone telling me, Shogo, you have got me interested in Yaido. I really want to start training, but I don't actually have any training areas or dojos nearby me. So even if I really do want to train, I can't get started. I've been receiving so many messages. Shogo, please teach us how we can get started with Yaido. And for a long time, as I always say, I'm not an instructor in Yaido. So I was a little bit hesitant of making this video, but I got actual permission from my instructor. If it's just some of the simple basics that I can teach in my level two, he gave me permission to make this video. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I'll be teaching three, some of the basic trains that you can do inside your house as well, even in a small room. So if I only do it in front of you, I'm pretty sure um, it'll be difficult to understand. So today, actually have Kazu and Tomoko in their dogi today. So they are actually going to be demonstrating the three things I'll be teaching you today so you can understand what kind of uh, parts will be difficult for beginners. Yeah, and I'll be explaining how to fix that and get better. But before we get started, there's two things I need to tell you. Number one, there are hundreds of Yuha styles, different schools in Yaido. So what I'm gonna be teaching you today does not apply for all of the Yuha styles. Please understand this is just one way of doing it and is not 100% correct. And number two, if you're interested in, for example, buying these dogi, the training gear, or the katana you have, you see here for your training, please take a look at the description box. We have a link to Tozando, our most recommended katana shop. It's a martial art shop, actually. They have all sorts of dogi and weaponry too, so I hope you can check that out. In this channel, you can take a closer look at Jack traditional culture, tips on traveling in Kyoto, and social problems in Japan. So learners and lovers of Japanese language and culture, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content. Let's go! Let's do this! Then everyone, training number one, drawing and sheathing the sword. Yay! Yay! Let's start from that. And by the way, today in this video, I already have my dogi, my training gear, my katana on me. But if you're interested on how to do this in the first place, I made a video in the past about how to properly put on the hakama and fold in everything. So I hope you can check that out first. So once you have the katana on your waist, you first have the katana in front of you. It's, I think it's easiest if you have your right foot forward. Yep. You put your hand underneath the handle like this. Yep. And then what beginners tend to do is this. But drawing and sheathing the katana is always about both in, using both of your hands. Yes. And especially what's interesting is that it's more about controlling your left hand than your right hand. So when you draw the katana, always remember to pull back your scabbard, the sheath, as much as possible with your left hand. Okay? So you have the katana in front of you. You Stretch your body basically. Right hand forward, left hand back, pull it, pull it as much as possible, and then your katana will come out like this, mm -hmm. okay? It's important that you have your hand from underneath, by the way. If you put your hand from over the handle, this is what's going to be happening to you. <laughs> You'll have the sharp side facing yourself, yep. So always remember to keep your hand under the handle like this and stretch, stretch your body. Pull the scabbard back, right hand in front of you as much as possible, and then the katana will come out. Yep. And then from here, how to sheath the katana. Very important number one is that you fully hide the entrance of the scabbard like this. Now you might be thinking, Shogo, aren't you going to be poking your hand, right? <laughs> but it's really important that you have the end of the sheath completely covered like this because you're actually going to be running the back of the katana along your hand to lead it to the entrance of the scabbard like this. Which means if you hold the scabbard like this and keep it open like this, what's gonna be happening is it, your blade will not be led to the entrance of the scabbard, yeah. So basically you need to use your hand as a rail yeah, for your katana. So you first hold it deeply like this, almost hiding it completely. And then, 
you're going to be placing this on your hand, just like this. So you can almost let go of your right hand. And then very easy, you just slide the katana along your hand until the tip reaches the entrance of the scabbard. Once it reaches it, you start putting it in, like this. The mistakes that beginners tend to do, which I made a lot too in the very beginning, is you need, if you don't control your left hand, which is a scabbard, this is what you're going to have to do, like this, yeah. But it's always about matching the line together with the sword and the scabbard. So once you come here, you angle the scabbard correctly so that smoothly goes into katana like this. Mm -hmm. So this is really simple training that you can do at home. Just drawing, sheathing, drawing, and sheathing. And if you train in Yaido, this is something that you will do thousands and thousands of times. Yeah. So being able to draw and sheath smoothly is very important. So this is something that you can first get started with in your training. And it's very fun once you're able to do it smoothly. And if I can give you one advanced um, advice, it's important. One thing that you can keep in mind is that you want to make the least amount of sound when you sheath and unsheath your katana. So, for example, if your katana and the scabbard are not in line with each other, it makes a lot of sound mm. as the katana goes back into the scabbard. This is called sayanari, by the way. Sayanari is not a good thing to do. Yeah. It means that you're not controlling your left hand and your right hand um, together enough. And making a lot of sounds, if it was in, back in the samurai time, you'll be detected by your enemies, right? Yeah, so you want to do this as quietly as possible without making any sound, like this. So those are some points. Now I want uh, Kazu and Tomoko to actually try this out <laughs> and see if they can actually do this. <laughs> so Tomoko is here to try this out, the drawing and sheathing. Uh, the last time you did, you did it was at Kimbu Theater, I think. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys remember that video. Dancing. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, one of the oldest ones we have. But mm. let's get started then, as I just uh, taught you. So you first of all, I put your left hand okay. on the scabbard. Mm -hmm. Yep, near the tsuba, the hand guard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you put your right hand, mm -hmm. yes, on underneath, from underneath, you put it under. Okay. Yep. And it's definitely easier to draw if you put the sword a little bit more in front of you, by the way. Pull it out a little bit more. Exactly, okay. exactly. That's right, that's okay. right. From that position, yep, try to draw the katana. In my right, oh, right foot, foot forward. Exactly, forward. exactly. Okay, that's right. Mm, very good, ah. very good. Oh, oh very good, very mm. good. Good job, good job. Okay. I can Eric. fight. Yeah, you can fight. Yeah, yeah you, you're a little bit slow, but yeah. yeah, you can fight. Very good, very good. All right, then let's uh, try sheathing the katana too. Okay. Mm, good job. So, so again, yep. Hold try to, the seed. Mm -hmm, try to cup the end a little bit more, even more, even more. You need to hide even it. Even more. Oh. Yep, exactly, exactly. Okay. Exactly, like exactly. This. That's right, that's right. Mm -hmm. So you start sliding from there. Like this? Slide, exactly, exactly, exactly. And again, left hand back, right hand forward, stretch your body, exactly, exactly. That's right, perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's right. Mm -hmm. See, this is the difficult part, exactly, exactly. And? Once it gets to the entrance. Like this? Yeah. Uh -huh, that's right. You keep it in line with the scabbard. Very ah, close. This Very close. is hard. Yeah. <laughs> You're not holding on to the handle anymore. Yeah, you can let go, you can let go. Yeah, you can let go. There we go. Okay. Got it? <laughs> there we go, there we go. <laughs> yeah. So what's happening when you see Tomoko uh, doing it? You can see she's stretching out her right hand, mm -hmm. but not too much of her left hand. Yeah, uh, exactly, exactly. So it's always a stretch of both of your hands, left, left and right at the same time. Your waist is here, mm -hmm. and then you're basically doing this. Right uh, this is what you're trying to do, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But just pull back your waist. Okay. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So let's try that one more time. Okay. And... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Very good, very good. Okay. Really smooth drawing. That's right. If you can draw it, it means you can sheath it. So, again, bring the scabbard a little bit more in front of you. In front. Of your body. Yeah, a little bit more in front of your body. More. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then, Put the katana. Katana. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. And draw it back, draw it back. Left hand back, left hand back. back. Down, <laughs> down and back. Down and back. Pull back your waist. 
Get in there, get in there. Oh. Got there? See? That's it, that's it. You're a nice teacher. Yeah, yeah. Very good instructor. Very, very good. So, Tomoko was saying maybe the katana is a little bit long for her, but actually, no. Um, even for a woman of her height, the Nishaku Sansun. So, this is two shaku and three sun, actually. But you'll be able to still draw if you're able to move your body properly. Mm -hmm. This is much longer than my arm. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But by using your waist, and both of your arms, by stretching both of your arms, you will definitely be able to shape and unshape it. I see. Interesting. Mm, interesting. Exactly. It's about the mechanism of your body. So, mm. so it's Kazu's turn, yep. but Kazu and I have actually been training in the same Kenjutsu dojo together <laughs> recently, so a little bit. he can do, already do the drawing and shaping mm -hmm. quite neatly. Yeah. So if you could demonstrate it for us okay. and try that. Yeah. Okay. So right so foot forward. Right foot forward. Mm -hmm. Then from underneath, yep. get, the, get the handle and like there that. we go. Exactly. Oh. That's perfect. That's perfect. Mm. Mm -hmm. Then let's sheath it. Yep. Slide it. Like that. that is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Mm. What's especially good with Kazu is that he doesn't ha move the end of his handle so much. Mm. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. That means you're properly controlling the scabbard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. That's very good. Let's try it out. Try out um, unsheathing, drawing the katana this time without making the um, end of the katana make a sound. Try not to make any sounds as you draw the katana this time. Okay. Mm -hmm. then can I do it a little bit slowly first? Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's right, that's right. Okay. Go ahead. Try it out for me. Draw your left hand even more. That's right. This time mm -hmm. you didn't scrape the end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Perfect. And then, then. let's sheath it. Perfect, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of sound there. Yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah. You're getting a little bit stuck in between. That's the part. It's really difficult to completely align the katana and the scabbard yeah. at the perfect timing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, you need to fully understand the moment the tip of the katana mm. reaches the entrance. That's the moment you have to switch the angle of the katana. Mm. And then you start sheathing from there. So that needs a little bit of practice. Mm. Mm. I guess that kind of like differs between each person, I guess. Exactly. Like the way each person's body moves, mm -hmm. it's like different. So. I guess you have to like keep on practicing and kind of like get your own rhythm. I exactly, guess. exactly. Mm. That's right. So one thing I can absolutely say is that you really don't have to rush when you do this. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I knew Kaze is already capable of doing the drawing and shooting. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought I can teach you guys to a little bit something that looks even cooler. So you have the katana out, right? You have the katana out. In Yaido, there's something called chiburi, chiburi, or chiburi, we call it, yeah. Basically, it's the movement of trying to remove the blood that's on the blade. It's very scary, yeah. Um, there's different kind of chiburi. It goes sideways. You can use your whole body to swing the katana and such. But there's one that's really cool that you can practice at home. I really love it very much. And it doesn't use so much space, and that's the reason why I like it. It's called uchi chiburi, yeah. And there's different ways of doing it in um, different yuha styles, yeah. But the way that I like doing it is very simple. You turn the blade. You have the katana in both of your hands and you flick the katana with your right hand like this. And you keep it holding onto your left hand. Again, you have the sharp side outwards. And then with this fist, you hit the handle to remove the blood. Hit it. And then with the hand you hit, you hold onto the handle, you drop the katana basically. You drop it, drop, and then put it on the scabbard. Oh, okay. So it's a little bit tricky, but I was able to do this my first year of training in Yaido, so I'm pretty sure you can do it too, guys. So unlike the way that we practiced earlier, holding it from the bottom and such, you actually have your hand this way because you switched the way you hold on to the mm. handle. Yep. So, hit. And you don't have to try to forcefully spin your katana when you do this. Just, just drop it. Just drop it. Land it on your hand, and your sheath, like this. If you're able to do this, you'll look in the mirror and you'll think, oh, this is so cool. So <laughs> I wanted to introduce this to you guys too, yeah. And I want Kazu to try this out. All right, so Kazu, let's try the Uchichiburi then. Okay. Yeah. So again, draw the katana first. Yep. Draw the katana out. Yes. So just like I said, hold on to the katana with both of your hands. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you flick. flick. Perfect. Yep. Flick it to your left shoulder, to your left hand, oh, okay. and then you hit the katana. Oh, that's right, okay. that's right, exactly. Okay, okay. So flick it, hit it. Mm -hmm. 
then then hold it that way, then drop the katana. Oh, okay, this and is hard. Yeah, this, yeah, this, this, is, hard. this hard. is hard. This is hard. <laughs> this so part is a little hard. What, what I did there was um, I grabbed it, and then while my sword is coming down, I have to get ready for my scabbard. Exactly. <laughs> that's the difficult yeah, part. Yeah, that's right. You need to hold and cover up the end yeah. of the scabbard immediately. Mm, immediately. So that's the hard part. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or if I don't move quick enough, my, my hand's going <laughs> 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 to put my yourself. hand off. So I don't want that. So, okay. Start again. Yeah. Hold it with both arms. Mm -hmm. Spin. Yep. Hit. Hit. Hold. Drop. I think you made it. That's and like that. exactly correct. <laughs> wow, that is so hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was uh, hoping this will be an advanced challenge for Kazu. But <laughs> he cleared it very quickly. So. <laughs> Very good job, guys. Mm. That's the way you do it. Yay. Perfect, perfect. Great job, great job. So then everyone, training number two, swinging the katana, mm. right? So today, um, we're trying to practice inside the house, right? Where the ceiling is low. And our ceiling is actually low. Super low, <laughs> So actually. we actually can't stand and do the swinging. So um, I'll be teaching you a way how you can do the swinging practice, even if you're in a room like this. So basically, you could kneel down like this. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, if you have a little bit higher ceiling, you could have one knee up like this. Yeah, your right knee, left knee, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. But you could do the swinging practice like this. But if this, for, for example, would scrape your ceiling, you could go down even lower like this. So you have the katana out. Number one, how to hold the katana handle properly. Now, one thing that's really important is that you don't hold the katana handle from the side like this. And then you can't swing it, right? <laughs> if you hold it from the side. So it's important that you squeeze in like this, squeeze in your arms like this. Mm -hmm. In Japanese, we call this chakin shibori. Mm -hmm. Chakin shibori, yeah. Mm -hmm. Chakin is actually a cloth that you use in tea ceremony. Mm -hmm. And you gently remove the water by squeezing it. But it's very close to that. Mm -hmm. And then from here, you, in the beginning, it's really difficult to keep all the important things in mind. So you can just simply start practicing swinging the katana. Up, down. Very simple, just swing down. Like this. One thing that's really important though, point number two from here, is when you swing the katana, your main power should be in your left hand. Your left hand gives the power to your katana, your right hand controls the direction. So what I would usually do is I swing with my left hand first on its own, and it's really hard to control the katana right. And then I add my right hand afterwards, and then it goes straight, like this. If you put power in both of your hands, it's really hard to control the tip of your katana. It goes all over the place as you swing, yeah. And the blade making a sound right now is proof that the katana is running through a straight line. If it doesn't, for example, um, see, it doesn't make a sound. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm putting too much power into my right hand that my blade is shifting a little bit to the side. And then, you won't be able to make sense. Gently, let the katana do it for you. Slowly is fine in the beginning. Even if you go very slowly, if your katana is straight, it'll make a sound. See? And once you get used to swinging the katana just straight, you can swing to the left, right, to the sides as well. This is called kesagiri. Kesagiri, kesa is actually a type of clothing that the, the monks would wear, the Buddhist monks would wear. So basically, you're cutting from the enemy's shoulder down to the waist. Unlike a straight swing like this, this time, when you bring the katana over your head, you bring your, if you're going to be cutting from right to the left bottom corner there, you bring your left hand over your right ear, and then you swing down to your left waist. Other way, you bring the sword above your hand, right hand comes over your left ear, this time down to your right waist. Mm -hmm. Like this, over this side, like this. So if you get used to swinging the katana down, your next challenge would be to give it an angle. And what's more difficult about giving an angle is making the, the katana go through a straight line. Again, let the katana run through a straight line on its own. Gently hold the katana. From here, 
straight line. Imagine drawing a straight line. And to do that, point number three, try to stretch your arms as much as possible when you swing. If you do this, you tend to scribble with the tip of your katana. So, always relaxed. Always relaxed. This side too. Always relaxed. No need to rush. And then, you sheath the katana. All right, so this is how you practice swing the katana inside the house. Then I will love having Tomoko and Kazu both try this out for me. Okay. So Tomoko is going to be trying out the swinging training. Yes. All right. So you're on your knees right now, and your toes are actually standing mm, in the back. Yeah. Yep. So let's try swinging the katana for me once. Mm -hmm. Let's try swinging. Like this. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Mm -hmm. So your two hands are completely stick to each other right now. So mm -hmm. you need to have about two fingers worth of distance between each other. Two yep. fingers. Yes, and one finger worth of distance between the tsuba, the hand guard, and your right hand. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Try it for me again. Mm -hmm. mm, much Easy easier to, to move, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. That's right, that's right. Of course, mm. I can make the sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go a little bit faster when you swing down. Add a little bit of power to your left hand. See? Oh, oh, oh. Just a yeah, little bit a of power really, is enough. Really, really clear sound. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, mm. your swing is really good. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, it's mm. because Tomoko doesn't have any unneeded power mm. in her arms. Yeah, that's the reason why you're really relaxed. That's good. Do you want to try the kesagiri, cutting okay. across? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yep, from there down to your left waist this time. Mm, exactly, exactly. That's mm. right, that's right. That's perfect, yeah. Okay. Go a little bit faster so you can make some sounds, yeah. It's best we have the howl though, so. See? Mm. Perfect! <laughs> Amazing! The last yeah. one, let's do the other side too. From okay. left to right. This time, mm -hmm, down to your right waist. Mmm, mm. very good, very good. Mm. Mm, exactly. Mm. When you do that though, always above the top of your head. Right now, you're doing ah. this. So, okay. above your head. Yes. Both of your hands above your head. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Mm. Yeah. This is interesting. Yeah, because this, if this was a real fight, you don't want to be hiding your face from your opponent. Right? <laughs> I can't see where my opponent is. <laughs> right? so you need to always have, no matter which way you're going, your face always needs, always needs to be shown. Yeah. Mm. So you can see the enemy. Yeah. I love your dance there. <laughs> yeah, <you're, laughs> <laughs> I'm having fun. Yeah, you need to always have your, your eyesight clear mm. yeah, to fight against your enemy. So. Mm. Okay. Very, very good. Perfect. Thank you very much. Very good, very good. Kazu's turn. Okay. Then it's Kazu's turn. Okay. Yeah, he has the katana drawn out for me already. Yep. So let's start right away. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have my arms exactly. straight. Yep. Like that. Katana. Some space between your two hands. Mm -hmm. Now let's try. Hands over your head. And swing. That is perfect. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> very, very good. <laughs> you can see Kazu is drawing a perfect straight line with the tip of his katana. Yep, that's right, that's mm. right. Although I can see you're having a little bit more power in your right yeah, hand. Yeah, that's right, that's your right. Left mm. hand, though. Mm -hmm. I guess it's really hard if your ha right hand's your dominant hand. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Because you're so used to using your right hand mm -hmm. a lot more. Once you get used to it, though, it's important because your right hand gives control to your katana. That's right, that's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Left hand. Swing. Yep, that's a lot better. Mm. How much your arms are stretched changes completely mm -hmm. if your hand mm -hmm. That's your right, that's right. Left hand power, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Really good With advice. that then, now that you're able to change the balance of your power, let's try the kesagiri this time. Okay. Yeah. How about you do the migi kesa first? So okay. right upper corner down to the left waist. This way. That way is the migi kesa. Let's try that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good, very I good. Guess, very I guess, I guess. Yeah. With that then, let's try the hidari kesa too. Hidari kesa. On the other okay. side. Yeah. So this side. That side, yep. Mm -hmm. mm. Very good, very good. Yeah. Um, people who have uh, their right hand as their dominant hand tend to do the hidari kesa better mm. because it's easier for you to stretch your left hand. Yeah, that's hand. right, that's right, that's right. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it, it's your right hand giving it a curve. A little yeah, bit. I guess. So maybe I need to work on that a little mm -hmm, bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for everyone watching this video too, it's all about letting the katana 
do it for you. Just you're almost like just simply dropping it towards somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So don't force your katana to do something. Just let it do it for you. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm mm -hmm. gonna work on work on that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very good though. Very good though. Good job. <laughs> good job. And shriek while sitting. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Very good. Okay. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Then training number three. three. This one is going to be a little bit difficult. To be honest, I think I didn't immediately start training this oh. when I actually started training in Yaido. But if there is a number three that I can teach you, it would definitely be nukitsuke. Nukitsuke. It would mean to actually draw and attack at the same time. So if I can demonstrate to you, first of all, first of all, this is drawing your katana at, right? This, you're not able to attack like this. So drawing and attacking needs to be in one motion, one action. So a nukitsuke would be this. If this was tamishigiri, the mat cutting, for example, you could cut a mat from drawing the katana. So this is the advanced version of drawing the katana out. What's different is basically you understand where the tip of the katana is and you attack like this by flicking your wrist. And there are different nukitsuke. That one is an upper nukitsuke, but there's sideways too. For example, sideways. This is sideways, and you can go down too. You can go, go nukitsuke and then go downwards as well. But for the beginning, I think the upper one will be the easiest. Mm -hmm. And because yai means tsuneni de kyu ni awasu, which means you're always present in the moment and you'll be able to react to any situation, is what yaido was about in the first place. So basically all the situations that you practice through the kata, the fixed training, you know, is a situation where you're just walking down the streets and then someone suddenly tries to attack you. So your first nukitsuke, your first attack is very important in every kata. So nukitsuke is an important thing that you need to train, but it's a little bit difficult though. Let me try it for you again. Again, it's the same stance from when you're drawing the katana, but you pull it out, and from here, you turn your wrist to attack. Flick, you don't rush. You come to the point, you need to understand when your katana is just about to be pulled out, right here, and almost hold on to the tip. Mm -hmm. When you, okay, and you understand, okay, my katana is fully out, and then you flick your wrist to attack. And to do this again, the most important point is that you understand when your katana is just about to be pulled out here. If you rush, you scrape the end of the scabbard. This is what happens. Mm. Yeah, it's like you can see it was completely stuck, right? Yeah, it will bend your katana, it will damage the inside of the scabbard, so you don't rush, you don't rush. You practice drawing and sheathing, drawing and sheathing many, many times, and once you understand, okay, so this is the point where my katana, the length of my katana, the length of my arms, I understand now when the katana is just about to be pulled out of the scabbard, this is when you flick. This is upwards, it could be sideways, it could be downwards, it could be any way, yeah, but it's the same mechanism here. So, until you get this, you need to practice drawing and sheathing many, many times, yeah. Then I'll love to have Kazu try this out for me. Okay. So Kazu is going to be trying out the nukitsuke for me. Yeah. Let's try this. Okay. I'm, I know that he can already do the drawing and sheathing completely. Mm, so I need, now but... I need to know, completely know the length of my katana. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And your arms and everything too. Yeah, that's right. How much you move your body and everything. Okay. Yeah. So for the, my first try, I'm just going to uh, think about uh, holding the edge of my mm -hmm, katana mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to kind of know the length. Yeah. You don't have to rush. Okay. Let's try this. Slowly draw. Like around here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the tip. So mm -hmm. my katana is now fully drawn. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I flick my wrist. Mm -hmm. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Just like that, just like that. That would be an attack. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, that was a lot lower. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Flick, and then. That's right. But you can still hear a little bit of the scraping yeah, sound. That's right, probably that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. One last try. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. That was a lot better. Exactly, exactly. Perfect. Just Ooh. like that. 
So whenever you do the nuki skip practicing, it's all about not rushing. Mm. Yeah, it's um, please understand that it's an occasion for you to have a conversation with yourself and your katana. You know, mm. you know, discuss with them, you know, or her you know, <laughs> about how you're controlling your katana, going back and forth. Yeah, you don't rush to do the nuki skip. Otherwise, you will hurt your katana, you know, damage your katana. So. How was it? <laughs> that was good. Was I, good. Hope, I hope I'm doing pretty good. It was really, really good. Good job, good job. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. So if you enjoyed watching this video, if this was useful for you to get started in training Yaido, please hit the like button and let us know in the comments if you need to, if you have anything that you'd like to learn more about Yaido or Katana in general. And our goal is to achieve 2 million subscribers by January 2023. So your help would mean a lot. And we'll see you in our next video where we talk about Katana and Yaido. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Bye bye.